want to know about touring their local fire station, and residents can do that if they will call the fire administration office at 281-403-4300 and schedule the tour. Now we ask that the residents call at least two weeks prior to the event to make the arrangements. And also too, it's important to note that the firefighters still are subject to, to emergency calls. So they may not be able to fulfill the request or they actually may have to leave in the middle of the request. And for a special treat, we'll have a quick peek at fire station number one. The tour will be given by uh, firefighter Dwayne Menzik. Hi, my name is Dwayne Mensick. I'm a firefighter paramedic here with Missouri City Fire and Rescue Services. And today, we thought it'd be a big treat for y'all to come and see what we do here at the firehouse and see what we have. This here is our fire engine, uh, engine 31, which is stationed here at uh, station one. It's our headquarters. Um, this truck is uh, one of our front, front line apparatuses. Over here, just give you a little tour of the station, we have our gear and washroom. This is where the other two shifts will store their gear away uh, until they come on next shift. We work 24 on, 48 off, so there are three shifts. We actually do spend the night here at the station, being we are here 24 hours. Shift starts at 7 o'clock in the morning and ends at 7 o'clock the next morning. Over here we have uh, one of our rescue boats, one of the two that we have here in the fire department. This is our larger one. Uh, we've used this a uh, couple of times that I know of. For other type of various rescues, we do have a smaller boat over there. It only takes up to three different people to carry this boat, so we really don't have to launch it or have a boat launch into the water. And this is our kitchen area. As you can see, we have a pretty large kitchen table here. We have a minimum of four people on the actual fire truck and then our battalion chief. So we have uh, five people at this station at any get given point in time. As you can see, we have three different refrigerators here, one for each shift, A, B, and C. So we can all store away our own food and keep it pretty well safe. This is our sink area right here where we can freshen up in the morning or after our showers in the evening. This is pretty much our home away from home every third day. And we have three separate shower stalls here. We can take showers. Down this hallway, we all have our separate dorm rooms. I um, can't remember, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight separate dorm rooms here at station one. Each room, has its own separate mattress and a little nightstand and some of them have a TV, some of them don't. We each have our own separate locker, uh, one for each person on the shift. We have a battalion chief here at station one and then four uh, guys on the apparatus, an officer which is our lieutenant, a driver, and then two firefighters. Battalion Chief is pretty much incident commander or shift commander. Uh, he is one in charge of the whole shift. So every third day we have a different battalion chief. And um, they're in charge. If we have a fire call, they are the incident commander. They pretty much call the shots, to say, uh, put it simply. The uh, lieutenant's office he has his own separate office here. He is the one that is in charge of that apparatus that day. You start off, the first uh, rank would be firefighter, and then you have the driver operator, then a the lieutenant, and then a the battalion chief. And this is what we call the watch office, which is the firefighter's office. This is where we can come in and do uh, any kind of course studies that we have. So we're constantly in class, constantly studying, doing continuing education. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. We appreciate y'all coming out and taking this little tour of fire station number one. This is Dwayne and I hope y'all have a great day.